Hi, my name is Wilson Chung, and today I'm going to be taking you through some essential oriental ingredients. First of all, I'm going to take you through two types of mushroom. We have enoki mushrooms and also Chinese black mushrooms, also known as wood ear mushrooms. Now the woody mushrooms are really interesting because you actually need to rehydrate them. So they come dry, quite, almost quite crisp. The reason why they're dry is that increases their flavour and also means that you can transport them easily. So you rehydrate, rehydrate them in a little bowl with some boiling water and about 20 minutes later, just like magic, they come out looking like this. Now these woody mushrooms are fantastic used in a braiser or a casserole or anything that requires a little bit of cooking because it's going to absorb a lot of flavour and also give you a beautiful crunchy texture. The second type of mushroom I want to talk to you about today is enoki mushrooms. Now these, these are absolutely beautiful. They're fantastic used. Um, you can use them raw in a salad, just take off the bottom just like that and you can pick them, put them into a beautiful salad. You can also put them into something like a miso soup or fantastic at the very end of a stir fry. They're really sweet, uh, really, uh, really tender and really, really good. Um, in whatever you use them in. So that's the enoki mushroom. The third thing I want to talk to you about today is Chinese leaf. Now this is uh, quite a big vegetable. One would serve probably four to six people. So very economical and fantastic and sweet. I've just sliced this one through the middle so you can see that yellowness. That yellowness actually tells you, number one, it's quite young and number two, it's fantastically sweet. So this is really good either shredded for a Chinese style coleslaw or tossed into a stir fry, um, fantastic product. The final thing I want to talk to you about today is soy sauce. So we have a light soy sauce and also a dark soy sauce. I want to show you the difference in colour because the difference in colour kind of tells you about how the flavour differs. So this is a light soy sauce and the dark soy sauce is a fair bit darker as you can see. So the dark soy sauce has the addition generally of a little bit more wheat and also it's brewed with molasses. What the molasses does is it makes it a little bit thicker, a little bit more richer in flavour. So my general rule of thumb is to use the dark soy sauce for cooking and also use the light soy sauce. Use that towards the end of your cooking, so as a seasoning. So hopefully today you've learned a few things about different oriental ingredients and you'll try one tomorrow.